Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. Can you imagine catching a giant rocket plunging towards Earth using a chopstick system? It sounds futuristic. That's the bold goal SpaceX is pursuing with the Super Heavy Booster. Join us in exploring this video to witness SpaceX's latest strides in space exploration, highlighting the spectacular chopstick rocket catching technology. Let's discover it right now. Over the weekend, Elon Musk's SpaceX company released a 60-second animated video depicting the scene of the Super Heavy, first stage booster of the massive new Starship rocket, returning successfully to Earth after launch. SpaceX has turned rocket landing into a routine task, frequently recovering the first stages of its powerful Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. However, the landing maneuver depicted in this animated video is different. It involves a mid-air capture performed by the chopstick arms of the giant launch tower at Starbase, SpaceX's complex in South Texas. This animated video shows the Super Heavy descending through Earth's atmosphere at tremendous speed, leaving a brilliant trail of fire in the sky. As the rocket approaches the launch tower, two giant Mechazilla arms extend, reach out, and grasp it. Subsequently, the Super Heavy safely lands back on the launch pad. Elon Musk and SpaceX are nearing their ambitious goal. The CEO of SpaceX has dubbed this launch tower Mechazilla, firming his ambition to turn it into a giant robot serving the rocket launch and landing prop. Just days after the fourth test flight of Starship on June 6, Musk shared on social media his idea using Mechazilla arms to catch the super heavy booster on its next flight. This is a sign that SpaceX is accelerating the implementation of this ambitious plan. Landing Super Heavy directly onto the launch pad will help SpaceX recycle and reuse this booster much more efficiently, reducing turnaround times between launches and significantly cutting costs. Reusing the Super Heavy booster could potentially save SpaceX up to 70% per launch. This marks a crucial step towards SpaceX's goal of reducing space travel costs and expanding access to space. Most recently, on June 27, SpaceX posted a short video on social media X showing the massive Mechazilla arms of the Starbase launch tower closing around a fixed Super Heavy booster on the launch pad, preparing for future attempts to catch the Super Heavy booster. This represents a significant advancement in the development of reusable rocket landing technology by the company. Standing at an impressive height of 122 meters, the Starship rocket has undergone four test flights since April 2023. Each flight has brought substantial improvements over the previous one. Starship's first flight in April 2023 encountered an issue when the rocket's two stages failed to separate, leading to an early termination of the flight in less than four minutes. However, in the most recent flight on June 6 this year, both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship achieved their primary goal, landing in the designated ocean area. Both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship are designed for full reusability. After becoming operational, SpaceX plans to fly the first stage back to the launch site, where it will be caught by the giant mechanical arms on the launch pad. Starship is designed to land at any available location, whether on Earth, the Moon, or even Mars. These consecutive successes demonstrate that SpaceX is getting closer to its goal of landing and fully reusing the Starship rocket, a significant milestone in reducing space travel costs and expanding space exploration capabilities. The successful testing of the Mechazilla arms on the Starbase launch tower will further bolster confidence in the potential success, historic catching maneuvers in the near future. SpaceX is steadily advancing towards its goal of reaching distant destinations such as the Moon and Mars with the Starship rocket. The cornerstone of this project is the Super Heavy Booster, a massive propulsion stage designed for multiple reuses, promising to revolutionize the space travel industry according to Elon Musk's vision. Musk has announced plans to demonstrate the landing and reuse capability of the Super Heavy Booster this year estimating an 80 to 90 percent chance of success. Current Falcon 9 boosters return to Earth and land using integrated engine thrust on deployable legs. The goal with Super Heavy is a completely legless large rocket. The launching process for Super Heavy still involves using its engines to control landing velocity, but it will also employ grid fins integrated into its main body 
to assist in directional control during flight for catching by the launch tower's arms before touchdown. The primary benefit of this method, clearly involving numerous precise operations, is that SpaceX can save both costs and weight by completely eliminating landing legs from the super heavy design. Another potential benefit Musk has highlighted is the capability for SpaceX to essentially recycle the super heavy booster immediately upon return to the launch pad potentially enabling it to be ready for another flight with a new payload and upper stage, including Starship and other spacecraft currently under development and testing within less than an hour. The goal of Starship and Super Heavy is to create a launch vehicle that can be reused even more than SpaceX's current Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy systems. Starship is not only aiming for ambitious targets, but has also been selected by NASA as the human landing vehicle for the Artemis program, set to carry astronauts to the moon by the end of 2025, an Artemis 3 mission. With its advanced design and reusability capabilities, Starship is expected to usher in a new era for space exploration, significantly reducing costs and expanding human access to space. However, demonstrating rocket functionality and reusability is just the first step in Musk's Mars ambition. To achieve the goal of sending a million people to the Red Planet within the next 20 years, SpaceX will need to significantly ramp up production and launches. The company is currently constructing a second launch tower at its South Texas facility and also plans to build two more towers at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Musk stated that the Texas sites will primarily be used for testing and development with the Florida location serving as the main launch center once Starship begins commercial operations. SpaceX aims to produce six Starship spacecraft this year, alongside constructing a gigantic factory to greatly enhance spacecraft production. The long-term objective is to manufacture multiple Starship spacecraft per day. According to Musk, this is crucial because initially, Starship spacecraft will not return from Mars, but instead will be used as raw materials to construct structures on the planet's surface. The company also plans to continue developing Starship, increasing its payload capacity from around 100 tons currently to 200 tons in the future, and enabling it to complete multiple launches per day. SpaceX also hopes to demonstrate refueling from one Starship spacecraft to another in orbit next year. This will be essential to replenish the fuel that Starship uses during launch, ensuring it has full fuel tanks when departing for Mars. And those are the notable details from today's broadcast. Please leave your comments on this episode and stay tuned for more exciting events in the upcoming episodes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to catch more interesting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye and see you again.